All right, hello y'all. I have been needing, wanting to do a get ready with me video for a really long time. I haven't done one in a while, so I figured I would come on and do one, but have a chatty get ready with me video so you guys can hear what I need to talk about. So I was like, I need something to talk about since I'm gonna do a chatty get ready with me video. And I figured I would talk about accountability. You know, I'm a person where like accountability is like my word for the last half of 2017. Because with this whole rebranding thing, you have to take accountability for everything that you do, all of that good stuff. And so I figure while I'm doing my makeup, I will talk about accountability. So the first thing I'm going to do, I will usually do this after my foundation, but since I'm not wearing a foundation, I'm doing a tinted moisturizer. I'm going to put this on first and it is the Maybelline. Uh, master camo um, concealer palette and what I'm gonna do is I do have a mirror around here somewhere um, I'm just going to conceal the parts that need to be concealed and whatnot and the eyeshadow palette I am gonna use is this Laura Mercier palette I got this for free it is the editorial eye palette. I got this from Free for Influencer a few months back. I do have a video on it if you want to watch how I feel about that palette. Um, but the reason I'm choosing this is because I'm a person where when I put on makeup, I want it to be very, very quick. I don't want it to take a lot of time. So there are times where I like a really beat face where I'm taking my time with highlighting and contouring. Today ain't one of those days. I, If I want to wear makeup in the summertime, I like to keep it quick because it's hot. And so basically what I'm going to do I'm just going to take like one of these really light colors right here and just do like a little bit under the eye. And I've already moisturized my face um, with the L'Oreal uh, um, Revital Lift Moisturizer that I got from um, Influencer. And I, I like it. It's not something that I can say, oh my god, it is a holy grail. But I like it. Um, and so I'm just covering up this. Since this part tends to be you know, a little bit darker than the rest of my face. Um, so I do want to talk about, um, you know, accountability. I'm a person where I did a live stream a while back and I talked about the whole accountability thing and taking accountability for your actions and taking accountability for whether you have a hand in it or you know about something. I think it's always best to take accountability for your actions and um and just say look i knew of things and they shouldn't have happened and went too far taking accountability especially doing it publicly to all of my subscribers is a big thing to do and ever since doing that i've just been in a much better place mentally because it lets people know that look yeah i fucked up it, but i'm you know but i'm i'm taking accountability for that and i'm changing my ways and i'm trying to be a better person um but with that with the good news always comes, um, you know, people that will hate that. And what I mean by hate that is there you'll get people who will, um, who were involved in it, you know, not doing any, not intending to do anything bad, but were involved in how you were, your mindset back then. And it'll be people that'll get mad at you thinking that you're going to throw them under the bus or you're gonna call out names because that's something I used to do. I never threw anybody under the bus, so that's not my style. But I used to like call out names and call people out. And that was never an intention of mine and it's never going to happen. And you get people like that and think that because you're changing for the better, that means that you may think you're better than someone else. And to me, it has nothing to do with that. I don't think that I'm out here being better than anyone else. I just think that, look, I just need to change for the better, you know? And I'm just concealing some of these really red spots on me and whatnot. And I just, I think that's what you need to do. When you need to change for the better, it doesn't mean you think you're better than anybody. It thinks that it's just one of those things where, look, I'm changing and it's a better thing for me. And then you can come with me on this ride or you can stay where you are because everybody that comes into your life isn't meant to stay. So... I'm going to be, this is what I've been using lately for makeup, and I like it. It is this Pixi H2O um, Skin Tint, and it's a tinted face, face moisturizer, so it's not going to give you full, full-on coverage. 
it's one of those things I like where I just want my face to all be one color. So I kind of just put it on my face in little dots like this. And then, um, and that's what I like about it because it's, it's no mess, it's no fuss. And I take this, this is a Real Techniques foundation brush, and I just, you know, just go in and blend. And my goal with this is just to make sure, like, any redness is covered. And so, you know, there are some, you know, people in my life that I was just like, look, I don't wish you any ill will. You know, I don't, but I cannot have you in this light, this new way of life for me because you want to be, you know, stuck in the past and that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to move forward. And if you want to stay stuck in the past, that's fine. That's fine. I just won't stay there with you. And I mentioned this in a live stream before that I like to use the analogy of, you know, me running track. Like, I'm a sprinter. So... If you want to do a long distance running, that's fine. You can go over there with all long distance runner, but I'm going to be running 100 meters and, and all that stuff. And so I'm trying to move on. I'm trying to get to the next point in my life. And if you don't want to be here with me, that's perfectly fine. And so what I'm doing is I'm just, um, you know, blending this in. And this just gives me a really um, refreshed look. And there we go. All right, and so done with that. And while I, I'm not, I'm not using the setting powder. I don't really feel the need to. This sets pretty quickly. But while I'm waiting for it to set, I am going to do my brows. And brows, I'm telling you now, will either make or break your look. And I'm using this CoverGirl um, Easy Breezy Brow um, Shape and Define, and I really like it. And I want to zoom in so you guys can see. And as you can see, it's made my skin all one color it has a spoolie on here so I like it because it's like it does a two-in-one job and so what I'm gonna do is um, brows when I'm just really just want to look put together and I'm not trying to be out here serving face um, I just want them to be filled in I don't need to accentuate them I don't need to make them over dramatic or anything I just want to fill in what's already there so very lightly because you do get a lot of product on just the one dip, which is great. And I just do lightly at the, you know, the beginning of the brow. And as you can see how the other side looks, look a little crazy with only one brow done. Um, and so yeah, um, back to my whole accountability thing. Um, you have people who will, who will think that you're better than them because you're taking accountability for your actions. And that's exactly what I did. And that's fine. I'm not going to argue with the person. I'm not going to go back and forth. I'm just going to be like, that's fine. But I'm moving on. Um, and so that said, you know, when I mentioned, you know, my whole rebranding, which I've gotten a lot of support on, I mentioned um, that you, when you rebrand, you know, your brand, you're not only rebranding your brand, you're rebranding your mental health and the way you go about your brand. That's that's what you do. And so I knew that since I was doing this whole rebranding, I would have to um, fix this up here. And that meant getting all that negativity out. I mean, that, not to say I'm not gonna have bad days or anything like that. It's gonna happen, but it's just a matter of how I respond to those bad days and people that will piss me off and whatnot. 
and I'm just gonna take um, you know my finger and because your your fingers are your best tools when it comes to makeup and so there we go and next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, this Maybelline Master Prime um, eyeshadow primer and I like it because it's a doe foot applicator and um, like I said when I now when I'm wearing makeup I I like to use my fingers I'm like let me use my fingers I don't want to break out any brushes if I don't have to we don't do other color brushes here but I'm just gonna put this on my eyes like this and blend it out and whatnot and I'm just going to slowly blend it and it's it's oily consistency so it spreads it's very generous when it spreads and so yeah um, but yeah um, me rebranding is just I'm having a lot of fun with it it's um, a challenge but it's a fun challenge it's a fun challenge for me to do and I'm learning a lot I'm getting a lot of response I'm getting my engagement is doing really really well and it's just it's great it's just something that needed to be done because I've never you know when I first got on Instagram it was you know it was just showing planner stuff I really never had a vision and as I got more serious about my YouTube and Instagram I still never had a clear vision and I knew I needed to have a clear vision in order for this to work and that's what I'm doing now and so um, with this palette right here you know you get a lot of you get a few bold colors but I'm just gonna stick to this one right here because it's a very neutral looking shade and the way this works is that it's stamping and so you don't really need a brush when I did this in a video I did it with the brush and with my fingers and you get the same results so that's good and I'm gonna take this color that color I was talking about that champagne looking color is called metal rust and so I'm just gonna stamp my finger in you know like that and put it on my eyelid just like that and it's like this rustic champagne color it's not it's not too over the top it's not you know boom in your face I mean it looks like I've colored my eyes but that's about it um, and boom and then it does have the setting powder in there and I'm gonna use that Set that over the eyeshadow. All right, and we're done with that. And so, just a very, very simple eye look. Wipe my fingers off. And next, what I'm going to do is, since my face is pretty much set now, I am going to take um, this cream. This cream blush, this is by Beauty Counter, and when they teamed up with Target, I got um, a cream blush. I'm not, I'm not big on cream blushes. I really don't use them, um, but I wanted to because I haven't used it yet. It's been sitting in my makeup collection for a while, and so I wanted to just break it out and see. And it's very, it's very, very pigmented, so it's one of those things that you kind of just put on your face and you go. So I just want to, okay, let's get together, Kristen. Um, just kind of like that because so I want like a natural look so let me make sure my hands are wiped up so I don't smear any of that eyeshadow on my face and I'm just gonna you know blend it out I don't mind the consistency I don't know if I like the color you know don't know if I like the color too much Okay, maybe if I just keep on blending. Okay, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Um, I got a little bit of eyeshadow down underneath my eye here. 
And so I do want to fix that. Fix that. Let's see, I didn't bring any Q-tips, which is Q-tips is something you should always have. Uh, Okay, I think we fixed it. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, this is by Beauty Counter also, it's a blush and bronzer duo. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take that powder for that blush, it's very pigmented, and just kinda go over, you know, the cream part to kinda set it. And I still have some left over on there, so. There we go. Yeah, um, like I was saying, everybody that comes into your life and ain't meant to stay. You know, there's people that come into your life and you think they're awesome and you think they're great. To me, it doesn't matter how long you've known them. Somebody can come into your life for a month, a year, five years, ten years, and then all of a sudden, you know, they're just not good for you. And you just have to be like, okay, this is not the way I need to do things. And so that's pretty much you know, the thing that happened to me, and this bronzer is, um, is very light, very natural. And so I just wanted, you know, to kind of blend my hairline in and whatnot. And, and I will do some down here at the jawline, just to kind of, you know, blend that all together, you know, and I'll put a little bit underneath the blush, and this is like the first time I've actually really worn these colors, um, because I just, I got it to try it out, and I just kind of forgot about it. I know she's just warming my face up a little bit. All right, and yeah, and so then I'm using this little color. This is Maybelline's Vivid Liquid Matte in, what color is this? Nude Flush. And I love a good pink lipstick, love a good pink lip. And there we go. I have mascara, so I'm just gonna, which you should do after every time you put on lipstick to make sure it doesn't get on your teeth. And where did that paper go? Oh, here it is. All right, put that right there. And hold on, I'm gonna get my mascara out of here. All right, and so I have mascara. How many times am I gonna say mascara? How many times, Christy? Um, this is the L'Oreal, um, the Lash Paradise Mascara, which is a very, very nice mascara. And so I'm just gonna just do one coat on the lashes because very simple look. There we go. There we go. And there is a very simple get ready with me. Look very put together and whatnot. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I will see you all next time. Bye.